Hello YouTube, Robin Hood Bricks here, and today we're going to get on with completing the entire second floor of our wonderful mall by doing this unit over here. Uh, and last time I gave you the task of guessing what it was going to be based on the clues of these tiles on the wall. Uh, and a lot of you were nearly right guessing child daycare, uh, but it is actually what a lot of other people got in one, uh, an indoor soft play centre. So that's what we're going to do today, after some amendments. Well, there weren't too many amendments from last time, actually. A few things that are very minor, but I'm always a fan of receiving those as well because we want this just as good as we can get it. Uh, so the first one was to play around with some of the tiles that I had here uh, advertising other businesses in my city uh, because, well, some of them were a bit drab in their colour scheme. Uh, and what I did was go through my entire sticker collection looking for other 2x4 stickers that I could use instead. Uh, so the new additions are this one for the pet shop uh, because I've got an exotic pet shop using that exact sign uh, uh, above my first subway station next to the Lego store. Uh, so that sticker is from the uh, 853921 Brick Stickers Pack. Uh, and the other one is Bob's Kebabs, which is a very bright red tile, which looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, and that's obviously for the kebab van, which is on Castle Green uh, in front of my castle. And that comes from 70812 Creative Ambush from 2014. So I think they've brightened up that area that was looking a bit underwhelming. So thanks for that encouragement. Uh, I've changed the hostess's hair back to the original one for the uh, Series 3 Hula Girl. I've also changed her pen from black to this... Well, it's technically a lipstick piece, <laughs> but it could be a highlighter pen, a purple highlighter. That's what I'm thinking of as, and it kind of marries with her, her flower in her hair and her garland. So I think that works a bit better. And that was just to make it brighter than the black pen that I had used. So I do like that as an improvement as well. Uh, and then last but not least, oh no, I've got two more actually. Uh, one was adding another pair of my signature bins. I've got one pair down here already, but I have another pair on the upstairs as well. And I like that using a sort of useless nook there. Uh, so that's a very good idea. And then if I move Robin, the last one is just rearranging some of the flowers and details around the edge of this sign just to make it look a bit less symmetrical because it was a bit unnatural before so I think that's made it a little bit better as well so if that was one of yours here is your bedoying right let's get on with today's build over here now, when I first started designing them all, uh, I actually designed a lot of the units independently and then tried to work out later how they would all kind of fit together to make one cohesive big building. Uh, and one of the earliest ones I did was this, uh, the Child's Play Center. And that's because I wanted a really big and prominently placed uh, center where uh, children were diving off slides and off climbing frames and things into a massive ball pit and I thought that would be absolutely hilarious uh, but I didn't want it as part of a normal build where it might have a roof on and be very dark and uh, hard to see so I thought that it would have the absolute best position kind of up here front and center and elevated by one floor that would allow us to see all the carnage that's going on inside much more clearly uh, so essentially I've got two areas for this build uh, one is the small sort of office with the entry into it where people can uh, drop off their kids and the much more significant area that's in this red is the yeah area for all that mayhem. Uh, and essentially that's just going to be a great big glass box uh, so we can see in from all angles and see what's going on inside. So I think that's going to be really good fun. And I clearly wanted to make it very, very colourful indeed. The green floor inside the office is mirroring the same style on the outside but just using three shades of green. Bright green, normal green and dark green. So that looks nice. We've got some uh, brightly coloured uh, cupboards and drawers there. Uh, then for this area I wanted it to have a bright red floor but given I was going to have red on the side and I already had some white and some black from the floor below I kind of thought I could make it into the five striped logo of the uh, 80s airport uh, from Lego so <laughs> I don't know why it would have the airport colour scheme but nonetheless I thought it could uh, and the yellow being the fifth colour would be the first level of brick of the build. So essentially when that is on there, it will go yellow, red, blue, white, black. 
And I thought that would be really colourful, even if it's got nothing to do with airports. <laughs> and then just to give myself a challenge, I wanted the colour to go up the side as well. And that's where I've built this fantastic construction, outer plates. And they're all going to connect on these studs on the side here with that same pattern. And so it looks good on the inside as well. I've just got some, that will be covered up, you see. Uh, I've just got some little one-by-ones to make a sort of rainbow pattern, which might be part of the decor for the inside of the child's play area so if I do that and move that brick up you'll sort of see what I'm going for there's very many stripes along the sides that's just an extra bit of detail that will go all the way uh, around the front as well so yeah I think that works rather well yeah what do you think of that Anyway, uh, onto the inside office. I just wanted very few details here, really, just so uh, you knew what it was, but it's not crazy important. So I'm just going to have a little bit of a table there. Thought I'd add one more thing to the wall art, maybe something that one of the guests produced, <laughs> a drawing two by two uh, that's unique to the hospital set, 60330, the new one. I got mine on bricks and pieces. So I'm just going to pop that on there. And then we just need a very small cash till for taking the payments from the parents who are desperate to leave their <laughs> young charges behind. Uh, a teddy bear in case someone gets upset and needs a bit of consoling, so that can go on there. Uh, and probably a first aid kit, just in case somebody is too exuberant. So I think that's probably all the kit we need to run an establishment like this. Because um, this, I suppose, is the sort of place where kids get dumped, uh, I mean, I mean, taken uh, by their parents. So their uh, parents can go out and get drunk in the tiki, but I mean, no, uh, can go and do their shopping, of course. So um, yeah, that's the kind of theme I'm going for here. Absolute mayhem in here and parents running away as fast as they can. <laughs> Alrighty, well the next stage is the interior for the ball pit and I've put in all sorts of poles to hold things up and steps and so on. Uh, but before I put things on top of them, I just wanted to show you another bit of child art that I put in here, which is kind of the play bus as a round sticker in there. And that comes from the Fabuland sign. Uh, we've still got one on the other side uh, that was sent in by John on the recent brick call. So thanks very much again for that, John. So I've just moved that onto that piece using my patented hot tea technique. Yes. So there we go. Um, right. So onto this area here. All of these poles must be padded, of course, so uh, children don't hurt themselves smashing into them as they charge around. And I'm thinking the door will be here. Uh, and as soon as they go in there, they can go up these steps uh, built out of these sort of padded blocks uh, up to a set of slides one going down in each direction. So I'm going to have uh, a blue one over here. So I'm just going to put a little bit of a step on and then have that one going around a corner like that. Uh, and then as if one slide wasn't enough right into the ball pool, I thought I'd have another one in pink to kind of contrast that. And I've got a jumper plate uh, just up here so I can have somebody getting ready to disembark. <laughs> so that is already filling up this area quite well, I think you'll agree. Uh, but to make it much, much more interesting, I've got one of these net pieces uh, that's kind of like a cargo net, I suppose, that somebody, this little tyke, <laughs> can climb up. And I thought to make it even more complicated and packed with colour, I'd have this on these attachments here with a lime kind of struts going in a bent over way like this. So, I mean, this probably isn't safe in real life because you'd fall off and smash into the uh, <laughs> plastic glass, I suppose. But um, it does look really good fun, doesn't it? Doing a slide through a cargo net tunnel and coming out the bottom there or climbing over the top on the orange section. So, yeah, I really like that. Just need to straighten his hair, I think. There we go. Uh, and then just for this area, I thought I'd put a big padded kind of beastie face. Uh, and this young lady is climbing on top of that. And that's why I was collecting all these really interested printed bricks. Now, it might be that I don't use this one because it's red on red. We'll have to see how it looks when we're looking through the window. But I really like the face. That's why I wanted that one there. Maybe in a little bit more. Uh, but essentially, I was collecting them for quite a while <laughs> on my brick halls. And some people sent some in as well. So I've got a green 
fun monster face there or a lion monkey or all sorts of other things as well i think that one's a bit too big for use in here after all so yeah ideas for future projects for these maybe uh, would be appreciated but anyway that's those so this is our area so we can add another young man with blue hair goodness knows what his parents are thinking <laughs> on the top of that slide there looking through there that looks good uh, and then the door to go in I've decided to use this door. Uh, now, this was actually first available on the uh, Home Alone house set, 21330, because it's got the pet flap inside it. Uh, and because I'm going to actually fill this whole area with little balls, so it is a ball pool, uh, I don't want them getting out. Uh, that's really important. Uh, otherwise, we'll have them flooding out the door and it'll be a nightmare. So essentially, I've deliberately put the door handle with this little emoji smiley face on the inside so it can't really flap open. And I'm going to have that as the entrance way for the kids so they have to get on their knees and crawl in, which is good fun. I think they'll enjoy that. Uh, but it will also mean that the balls can't go through that way either. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to put that... Uh, I don't know which way around that way probably so it can oh no it can open that way can't it so I need to do it like that right so that is the doorway in and it'll get straight onto that set of stairs and then we just need the guy who's running it uh, and I figured we'd have somebody completely wacky and zany uh, probably irritating to all parents dropping off their children but I do really like his uh, shirt with these the balloons on and party hats and all that. Uh, that was originally uh, unique to the uh, birthday set 40382. Indeed, the face actually still is, um, but the torso has been reused on the um, uh, loop coaster, the recent one, 10303, of course, as well. Uh, so I thought I'd give him a wacky horn for hooting along as well uh, and giving irritating levels of cheerfulness. <laughs> so I'm going to have him peeking out the door, beckoning people in like that because we'll have another door here to the outside world so that is my really good fun interior and I don't think it could be any more brightly colored could it yes so we've got a little space here for something else in a minute but I think the next thing is to start boxing this in and uh, as I said before it's going to basically be a glass box we need lots of big transparent panels Ho, 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 look at that. That looks absolutely amazing. And we haven't even got all of the balls tipped in yet. All of those colours, shapes and little people climbing all over the thing. Oh, I think I'll keep that red monster. He kind of looks like he's looking over the lip of the yellow there. And it looks absolutely great. But yes, so bright, isn't it? And so visible, hopefully, from all angles when this is on that very prominent uh, front corner from uh, the perspective of the second standing hole. Uh, and you'll be able to imagine all of the noise emanating from this place uh, and probably some smells as well, as somebody mentioned in the comments last time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's quite a simple build, given it's just a frame with uh, glass panels on and all the rest of it uh, with white tiles on the top. But... Yeah, I think it's effective uh, and we needed it to be very solid so it would keep all of those balls inside. Uh, I did get the door the wrong way around and put it in the right place now so the flap goes into the inside. Uh, and I've also started adding stickers to the outside. Uh, so these ones that say tickets with the stripes on and some others that we'll be using elsewhere are from the uh, Haunted Fairground uh, Hidden Side set 70432. Uh, and I'll be using these really big ones that say Happy World as the name of this establishment, uh, which is absolutely great turn up because uh, I'd already designed this when this set got released. Uh, and the fact that I now had some big signage that said Happy World just, well, absolutely made it for me. Uh, and I'm even going to use the smaller advert one for Happy World as part of the signage. Uh, at the top of the stairs on the main mall. So that is that missing tile uh, saying Happy World with a clown on it. So I think that'll look really good on there as well. But yeah, love those scenes. Absolutely great. Right, so to add a bit more detail to this, uh, I've used the clown face sticker from that sheet uh, to make a clown head that can adorn this side. And another one with these leaf pieces as hair on 
the front. Uh, and then here, what I'll be doing next is doing a big 3D sign that kind of comes out and advertises up and down the street where this place is. Though you'd probably be able to hear it before you could see it. <laughs> wow, I'm loving that and I can't wait to tip all of the uh, balls into the ball pool. Okay, well I thought rather than waste those uh, extra two vertical stickers, I'd put some on the front to match the side there. And that's looking pretty good, I think. Uh, and then as for the sign, I've got it on one of these 4 by 4 uh, plates that's got uh, four studs on the bottom. So I've got Happy World sticker on the top, looking very nice indeed with that yellow border. And then some of the emotions you might go through and in there, <laughs> a bit glum, happy, sticky tongue out, and even crying. Let's face it, that's probably going to happen. Uh, I didn't put on my uh, kissy face, but uh, maybe that's less appropriate. <laughs> so anyway, there is one side of our sign. Uh, and I've basically made this contraption so it can go out from the wall connection there. Uh, and we've got the same thing on the other side. So it doesn't matter where you are, you'll be able to see it. So if I just push that on there, we've got some lights coming up and some lights going down. I can attach it to mm, 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 there where it's very secure hopefully yes at least as secure as the column is anyway <laughs> so yeah that's looking good very colorful nice 3d one quite simple i don't want it standing out too much or it'll be hanging over the road and blocking our view of other parts of the mall but yeah i really like that actually uh then just to make it even more fun i decided to add these balloons which are from the uh, Series 18 birthday party boy and girl. Uh, the boy having the orange one and the girl having the purple one, of course. Uh, so essentially I can just poke those into these holes that I've deliberately put on the end here. A bit delicate, so that one will go on there, that one in there. And essentially it will be a pair of balloons that are also drawing your attention to where this place is. I think they look really good. Obviously, I could have made brick uh, built ones, but I figure these, since I've only got two of them anyway, are absolutely perfect for here. And the colour scheme works rather well as well. Yeah, I'm absolutely loving this. Right, the only thing really uh, remaining to do is to put this in place, add something in this spot, which I think will be really, really good fun. Uh, some parents horrified on the outside which we can do now actually uh, and then the balls on the inside so let's add those parents uh, first of all we've got this one uh, who's a lady looking very distraught at the noise levels that are entering her ears she looks uh, <laughs> a bit troubled if you ask me and I've deliberately put this hairpiece on her uh, that's pushing her away from the back of the chair so it kind of looks like well she's almost rocking in her seat <laughs> so I thought I'd put that there. It's a bit cramped here to get in and out of these seats on this uh, gangway, but we've got to use it for something. Uh, and then I'm adding this chap who looks equally distraught uh, waiting outside. Now, why they haven't gone to the tiki bar like the rest of the parents to enjoy themselves uh, while they're getting their well-earned break, I don't know. But these two maybe are the teetotalers who uh, have decided to wait outside and they are regretting their decision. <laughs> so that is a really funny scene, if you ask me. They do not look like happy campers at all. <laughs> right, so the only thing remaining really now is the balls. Right, so before the moment of truth, I do just want to add one more thing into this space in here. And you'll see already that I've added a round tile with a hole in it there. And that's so I can attach another young man uh, and essentially what I'm going to do is take off his hairpiece because we won't see that when all of the uh, balls are in place and attach him by his head stud to that hole so it looks like he has recently just dived off either this inflatable or maybe gone down the slide uh, into the balls themselves and then we'll see him completely submerged uh, with his feet and hopefully his banana skin torso sticking out of the top uh, of that level of balls. So that is the wonderful last scene that I wanted to add in that space. So it's absolutely packed and stacked from this main viewing angle. Look at that. Yes, yes, yes. Right, so put that to one side. And here are the balls, an absolute tray of 
balls, in inverted commas, uh, made out of two one by one studs. And if you remember all of my hauls way back when, when I was collecting all of these in all sorts of different colours, this is what it was for. <laughs> I had lots of questions about why I was doing it, and this is the reason. So we've got eight different colours here, and 33 different constructions for each, giving us 264 balls. So I'm hoping that will be enough. So let's go, let's tip these things in. Hopefully I don't scatter them all over the desk and have to redo this take. There we go. <laughs> wow, I think there's going to be plenty, isn't there? I think I'm going to have to shake them into position so they're not all on the stuck on the high bits. Let's see. Uh, that looks about right, doesn't it? Well, we can sort of see his feet. <laughs> Maybe I've got too many in there. What do you think? That does look quite good, though. This is the first time I've tipped them in. I haven't done a trial run. So this is me seeing it for the first time as well. Oh, but it does look good with them sort of on that lip of the uh, glass each time. You can see why now it's important that they can't leak out through the door or anything else. And it is great seeing his hands and feet sticking out of there. You can't really see his torso, can you? But um, maybe we just need to shake them around a little bit more. But yeah, I'm absolutely loving this. This looks great. I mean, it looks great fun, doesn't it? I almost want to be a minifigure so I can have a leap into all of that. Fantastic. Do tell me what you think of this, but I think this might be even better than the skate shop and my new favourite unit in the mall. And here it is, attached to the greater mall. And wow, doesn't it look great? A real splash of colour. Uh, which is a surprising thing to say, really, because the mall is incredibly colourful already. But this takes it to the next level, doesn't it? It's an incredibly bright box full of bright colours and shapes. And I think it looks absolutely brilliant. And it will be a really good view from the second standing hole, which will be pretty much from this angle. You'll be able to see right inside and see all those scenes of mayhem on the inside, like our friend who's gone head first into the ball pool but I really like those clowns on the outside as well the little monster face peeking through over the yellow there and this uh, 3d happy world sign with the balloons I think that works really well uh, but my favorite scene on the outside of the entire mall is definitely this one with the very distressed parents <laughs> who didn't go to the tiki bar in error uh, and they're contrasted brilliantly by the incredibly annoying, uh, horn-blowing, uh, cheerful guy who runs the place. <laughs> I wouldn't want his job, though. Uh, and there is that sign for Happy World next to the top of the stairs as well. So, yeah, it looks really, really good. And a lot of you guessed that I was going to have loose pieces in this, the ones that thought I was going to do a uh, children's play centre. Uh, and you were right. And I think it's a really good additional feature to a build that's already got so much going on in it but uh, absolutely happy to bits with that so as always do tell me if you've got any suggestions for amendments or additions that can make this build even better uh, together we make uh, all my builds uh, that little bit better uh, to make them as good as possible but you know what this is now my favorite unit of them all so far I absolutely love it. It is everything I hoped it would be, and well, more. Uh, tipping in the balls was uh, the end of an absolutely long journey of anticipation for this. Uh, and I'm really happy to say that it's worked out fantastically. <laughs> so, as always, thank you very much for watching. It is appreciated. Do remember to like, comment and subscribe for more awesome LEGO videos. And if you value this channel, there are many ways in which you can support it. Do check out the links in the description below. And next time on Robin Hood Bricks, it'll be Wednesday, so we'll be doing a brick haul. Uh, and if you want to send something to the channel and a future brick haul, you can to the usual address. Uh, then on Friday, we'll be going back to the 20,000 Bricks Under the Sea cabinet, where I'll be trying to finish off our secret underwater lab that will be at the end of the sea tunnel. Uh, and then on Monday, well, we have to come back and start on the third floor of our wonderful mall. Yes, can't wait until then. So, until all of that, see you!
Lovely.